Buckwheat noodles, sweet potato, and a miso broth. Perfect soup for a cold winter's night and a complete source of protein for a vegetarian dish. Let's get started. I'm gonna heat my pan to medium high, add two tablespoons of olive oil. Now, my favorite flavor profile, GGS, garlic, scallions, and ginger. So we're gonna add three cloves of garlic, about a tablespoon of minced ginger, already smelling amazing, and then the whites of four scallions. We're gonna save the green part for garnish. Season with a little salt. Mmm. While this is cooking, I'm gonna cook my noodles. I have four ounces of buckwheat noodles. Add that to boiling salted water. And just cook these according to package instructions. It's usually around five minutes or so. While the ginger, garlic, and scallion are becoming super fragrant, I'm gonna take the stems off of four ounces of shiitake mushrooms. So I said this was a protein packed dish, I wasn't lying. Shiitake mushrooms are a really great, rich source of vegetable based protein in addition to miso, which we'll be using, and the buckwheat noodles. So it's a threefer, triple play here. Save your stems for vegetable broth. It's really great in risottos. And we'll just thinly slice these guys, about a quarter inch. We'll just add these to our aromatics. A little bit more salt. And give them a toss. So we wanna cook the mushrooms until they start to release their liquid, a few minutes or so. So this brown fond at the bottom of the pan is what you're looking for. Basically, we're making a really rich vegetable stock with our water. So don't be afraid of the dark side. That's what you want. You definitely don't want it to be burned, but this will develop into a really rich broth. To this, I'm going to add one sweet potato that I peeled and diced to about half an inch cubes. We love colorful food around here. Sweet potato are no exception, super high in beta carotene rich source of fiber, and a smarter swap from regular white potatoes. So anytime you can incorporate sweet potatoes, try to squeeze them in. So basically we're just coating the sweet potatoes with this really rich, flavorful oil we have going on in here. Now we'll add six cups of water. So I'm gonna add just a little bit at a time here and really scrape up all of the bits on the bottom. So I'll add the rest of my water. Increase the heat, bring this mixture to a boil, then reduce to a simmer and let it cook for about six to eight minutes until the sweet potatoes are tender. Take a look here. Okay, sweet potatoes are nice and tender. The broth smells really amazing. Let's add our bok choy. So I have two heads of baby bok choy and just slice them, stalk and all, to about half inch pieces. Now I do like to leave the leaves a little bit big. I think that just makes a nice presentation. We'll leave some of these greens. So let's add this to our simmering liquid. Give it a good stir. Let this cook just until the bok choy is crisp, tender, about two minutes. Bok choy is tender, still bright green, vibrant. So I already drained my soba noodles, rinse them under cold water. It's really important so they're not sticky. We'll add this to our broth. I just have this on a low simmer here. This looks great. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the heat all the way off and remove about a cup of this broth. That looks good. So we're gonna mix it with half a cup of white miso. And you never wanna add boiling liquid to miso because that will damage the probiotics that are in our fermented friend here. We'll just whisk it till it's combined. All right, so let's add it to our broth. Mmm. Smells amazing. Now, because miso has a lot of sodium in it, just make sure you season it after you've tasted. In fact, that's pretty good right there. So for finishing touch, we're gonna slice up the rest of these scallion greens. We use the whites, and we're gonna add a tablespoon of lime juice. This is really just gonna wake up the entire dish. This is such a beautiful broth, nice and colorful full of fiber. So we have our soup. Let's just garnish with some fresh scallions. Maybe I'll do a little bit more lime juice just for added brightness. Piping hot, exactly what you want on a cold night. Let's try. Mmm. Oh yeah. Super fresh and hearty and so much better than takeout. <laughs>